Today we'll focus on the Quick Trade widget. This new order entry experience is designed for active traders where time to market for order submission is critical. With minimal input, rapid trading is unlocked via the buy and sell order submission buttons. These buy and sell buttons display the current best bid, ask, price and volume. Well, we can enter in some here to submit buy and sell orders at the displayed price. The order information that is retained after order submission allows traders to easily move in and out of their positions. For example, the account picker, should you have access to multiple accounts, select one from the drop down and this will be remembered after each order is submitted. The security code, the pricing instructions as to whether it's a market or limit order. Please note that the difference of a limit order as opposed to a market order is that it sends a limit order to the market where the limit price is set to whatever the bid and offer was at that time of clicking. So let's go and select a buy and as you can see the limit price is $11.90 and it's submitted to the market. As you can see for ease of execution, both market and limit are only available. Note that the order lifetime has been fixed to end of day only. Here we have a checkbox, do not show order confirmation. When not checked, the user will receive a simplified confirmation message after submitting an order, just like we saw earlier. So let's repeat the process, in pressing buy a confirmation will appear as a call to action for you to validate. Press OK when it's good to go. This option here is a safeguard as the nature of the quick trade ticket could be quite aggressive. Should you wish to not have this confirmation, the user can simply check the box and effectively through a single click, for example, pressing a buy, you can see that the order went straight to market without any confirmation validation. By default, this is unchecked just to protect the traders. During an active live session in Viewpoint, the following parameters will remain. The account, the security code, the pricing instruction and the order confirmation box. So when the user logs back into the session, please note that the volume will reset back to zero. So you'll have to re-specify that after logging back in. Let's add a second quick trade widget. Here in this empty container, we can press add widget, search for quick for example. This will also appear under the trading widget category and double click. Entering a security code and setting the value. By setting up the layout in this way, this allows a user who may have a trading style of pre-creating orders before the open to easily prepare their orders so once the market does open, it is as simple as pushing a button to launch their order into the market. To recap, the Quick Trade widget has been designed to enable faster order placement as you can see, allowing users to enter either side of the market, whether it be the buy or sell. It targets active users who trade in and out of the positions and are taking pricing opportunities throughout the trading day.